hi friends so today we'll be making this uh, break drum that you are having on your screens and this is a break drum of uh, Bajaj Pulsar and last month uh, I have completed this activity and uh, it was a uh, assignment that was up to me to complete this total stuff making a break drum of a bike is really very decisive mat uh, matter and it's not at all easy you need to take in consideration various things like uh, the tolerances, the material used, the minute microns, the detailings that will be used and overall this is a casting product and it's not a, a press product so in casting product much more things have to be you know uh, taken care of but then uh, right now uh, we'll be making this thing so let us start now in the link below of the tutorial I'll be giving you this uh, PDF file you need to just download it and then uh, you need to make it okay so guys uh, let us start first of all it is a very important job to make this section this particular section okay so you can refer this PDF file and then you can make this section whatever you have above this access this stuff you need to make this once okay so let us go in fusion i have already made this so i'm just uh, elaborating the method over here how to make this complete drum into a working 3d model and uh, i've come up to this point with all of these operations and i'll just drag this history bar this bar to the very first point that is zero point okay now i have my origin over here in this way the very first thing what I did was I had taken a uh, create sketch from this point I have selected this uh, working plane this is a working plane okay and then after selection of this working plane on this working plane I have made this complete geometry okay I'll just undo it again I'll come back and I won't be making a sketch I'll just drag this to this so that I get a sketch I'll double click and I'll get a sketch over here which I have previously already made okay so I'll just close the show dimensions thing so you can just have a look this complete sketch okay whatever you'll be making over here actually this is that sketch not this one sorry this is that sketch so you can just have a look I have made it uh, this way or that way you can just make it as you can see on your screens it is completely constrained the dimensions are completely constrained so whether if you try to you know change a dimension all the geometry will change so better when you constrain the geometry you need to uh, be very careful then uh, making a geometry which is not very constrained you have to make every dimension a stronger dimension so that your geometry takes care of the model anyways now after creating this region this is a completely closed loop this section is completely uh, closed okay you need to make an axis over here you need to make an axis over here because for creating a revolve sketch uh, we need to have a construction line over here so I'll be making a construction line let us say okay I don't have a construction line over here right now I'll be making a construction line by saying construction over here I'm just placing it over here this is my construction line for making a solid I need to come over here I need to select this region and I need to say revolve over here and then I need to select this axis sorry you can directly also select the axis as well so after creating the axis here is your complete sketch that will turn up into a 3d model automatically you need to make full actually so it be a full you can also give an angle but uh, the angle is 360 you can even say 180 so that you can get a half geometry but we are not into making this half geometry we have to make a complete geometry that is 360 degrees and it's new body of course and so so this is your model anyways i'll undo it because i already have a model over here so i will just finish sketch and i'll just drag this bar to this point so this is my i'll just come down and i'll just finish this again okay, this is so sorry i'll be coming to this point okay and i'll be coming to this point so this is my revolve geometry okay so after that now what i need to do is i need to make uh, i need to make some ribs over here so that this completely portion will get a strength from inside so that it will uh, be able to uh, withstand the talks uh, the tractive forces that are being applied at this excel point because this is a driving wheel okay so here the excel is connected and the excel is connected to the sprocket chain which is connected directly to the engine 
so uh, you need to uh, take a special care of this area because this is a very delicate portion you know so i'll just make uh, drag to the right again i'll just double click this again over so this is the sketch that i have made over here okay this is completely referred with the original geometry okay this way and then i'll just select this and say extrude e i'll press e either i can just come down and say extrude in solid okay and i can just uh, drag it up this way so you can just have a look at the geometry what i have made okay but anyways i'll uh, again say endo i'll come back i'll drag it up to this point so i have this rib over here this is one single rib that has been made okay okay so i'll just drag it again to this point now what i have done is i have made a axis over here the reason for making an axis is very uh, obvious uh, you just need to uh, i'll just make on the sketch right uh, uh, origin sketches and I'll just make it okay. Now, still my X is not is, is not visible because construction is off. So I'll be clicking it okay, and this is my X. Now, what for what I have made this X is I need to create a pattern. Pattern is array. In simple words, it's an array. It's uh, some objects are, are arranged in a rectangular uh, pattern manner or circular pattern manner that is around an axis, around a center or uh, uh, like rows and columns okay so i'll use a circular pattern i'll select the objects now i'll select features over here select the objects i said this is the feature that i have to make access is this one N numbers of things are full so this is that pattern okay so again there is no need for this to be created i have created this already so these are the four patterns again then comes the next side this side that we have to make uh, um, you, you just need to drag it this way okay so this is the again the same methodology nothing nothing different you need to just click drag and just finish it this way so this is again a pattern I have uh, revolved it this way then comes a draft over here this draft is being given to this portion this is a slight uh, this is a draft angle it's a slight type of, you, you can just notice you know this this cylinder is very straight right now but after giving a draft it's slightly slightly tapers down now please explain for what this is done this is basically done in uh, casting or uh, injection molding type of products to felicitate uh, the you know the withdrawal of the component from the molds okay so how it is done is you need to say modify okay you need to say modify you need to say draft pull direction is the direction in which the object is to be oppositely drawn down okay and then faces are this one okay I have given the draft angle as uh, let us say I'll give some more draft so that you can easily point out. So you can just you know make out okay, okay uh, this much is the draft given so that the product will easily okay. But uh, this is not required. Uh, we have some very controlled kind of draft. So that draft is right uh, around about one degree, not more than that. Then comes this thing. This is the fillet. This edge is very sharp. I'll say F for fillet. I'll just click and I'll just you know enter the value of the fillet so this is the fillet that has been given anyways i have measured this thoroughly by digital verney caliper and it is very calibrated kind of thing so we won't tease it very deeply so these are the fillets these two are the fillets that are given by this feature then comes again you need to go over here these are the features these all are the fillets that have been given there is a slight chamfer over here that is this one this this might be to fel felicitate the entry of the shaft okay then comes a uh, draft and draft is to the next level to the opposite side again a uh, fillet this way again a fillet to the ribs again a fillet i guess to the bottom of the ribs again you need to say a chamfer this way and then again this thing then again this thing so these are all are nothing but fillets now one more thing you might have noticed i'll just tell you one beauty of this product you know uh, uh, when you make a section out of it okay I, i'll just come to this part laterly i'll just uh, i'll just finish it over here i'll just come and inspect the section of this geometry to this point okay so uh, yes now you can just have a look over here this is the place this is the place where the brake drums sorry uh, the brake liners get 
friction against these walls to create a breaking effort okay but now what we have is one minute i'll just make this the rule no not this one this is section and this is i close this one this one so the lining over here is very minutely might be by 0.5 point uh, some you just say okay so that so very minute difference you can just have a 0.5 0.5 0.5 so that when your brake drum gets used to it these levels help to roughen up your brake drum and every time you use a brake drum this levels will get um, uh, you know uh, reduced like you know on your brake drum will be reflected on your brake drum and finally because of this stuff the life of the brake liners increases drastically so this is one more beauty of this thing i really don't know for what these things are might be for the stress distribution these things might have been given okay so anyways so this is the brake drum that i have made out of this total stuff i hope uh, you all will feel really very easy making this and uh, the rib thickness here is something 3 mm might be this might vary from bike to bike but this is the main thing uh, these very minute details that are supposed to be given to the caster okay so these things are to be taken care of when you are making a brake run this way and again i would say that this is a very difficult and typical type of uh, geometry that needs very uh, deep experience you know you are dealing with and uh, it's a risky uh, job of course because if the mold feel that all comes up to you and uh, you need to be very prepared because you know, these all of the technical details and we are making for a manufacturer uh, a giant manufacturer then of course the quality is the most 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 uh, looked upon thing so guys i hope that uh, you have thoroughly understood how to make a brake drum in fusion 360 and uh, the drawing part is very easy more 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 easier from design i could just say going in the drawing full assembly okay i'll say create a new view okay i'll say create this one you just need to you know go into the drawing module and it's very use uh, use it's very uh, very easy in fusion 360 to make drawings you just have to uh, have a sheet now i have just created the sheet set set over here this is an automatic sheet set okay Uh, the scale is uh, 1.5. That is 1.5. So I, I I would say that this is 1.1. So 1.1 is pretty big over here at the sheet size. What I could do is um, you know while taking a drawing sheet, I do sign over here. I could say drawing. I could say from design. And in spite of uh, standard ISO A3 sheet, I would take. A one sheet, okay. So my one is to one design could easily get accommodated in that uh, particular frame of sheet. And uh, oh, what happened? I uh, one minute. I just make sure. I guess there is some glitch in the design. From design, I say, okay, let's go with the uh, A two. Not that big. Design constraint with the volume in this case. Drawing cannot be created. Okay. we having one issue because we have to close these things which are not used at all so don't say okay now this is one thing you need to go over your drawing from design and uh, iso again i can say a1 okay this time a1 so this is a pretty big sheet now you just need to you know take out a placement over your very very you have to place okay so this is one is to one you have to take okay this time again so this is my two length so it's been generated okay you need to select the tangent edges whether you want to keep it as a wire frame that's all up to you you can even you know uh, in a drawing views you can just project project it view to this one so you can just drag it down and drag it to the side so it all depends you know so it's so 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 is here and say okay okay and again you can just you know rearrange these things you can even take out a section if you say uh, come over here if you say section at this uh, this point you know okay sorry section so you have just taken a section over here and you just click close over here and you can just you know drag it over here this way 
and uh, you can just you know style you can just take down as an okay this way so this section will get reflected this way again you can just say okay no i can take it scale but you can change down so these all are the things that uh, are to be taken into consideration whenever you are making an engineering model of a particular geometry uh, and uh, while making this total thing you need to be very sure uh, to be very precise so guys uh, please follow the link which i have given in the description below look for the pdf create this drum and if you have any doubts please please tell me so that i can resolve the things you, know, you got within okay so for now thanks a lot